Fairfax and Mars. Uh, UC Berkeley cancels my own Ianopolis event amid violent protest. It's not a protest, it's a riot. Call it what it is. This is from San Francisco local newspaper, SFGate. <sighs> Hundreds of rioters, I'm just going to change the word because they're out of their minds. Hundreds of protesters began throwing fireworks, pulling down metal barricades, police set up to keep people from rushing into the building where Indianapolis had been scheduled to speak. Windows were smashed and fires were set outside the building as mass protesters stormed it and at 6 p.m., one hour before the scheduled speech was to begin, police decided to evacuate Indianapolis for his own safety. Now, if you don't know who this guy is, he describes himself as the most dangerous faggot in America. That's his words, not mine. He, uh, he's... I forget what side he's on. He's a conservative and he's a homosexual. But we can use all the help we can get, so... Uh... Don't take this the wrong way, my love. I love you. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way, please. All right. Uh, Berkeley police said the three people were injured. There are no immediate reports of arrests. Police said protesters threw bricks and fireworks at police officers. University police locked down all buildings, told people inside them to shelter, shelter in place and later fired rubber pellets into the crowd the protesters to defy orders to leave the area. Police called in support from all other law enforcement agencies and warned protesters they might use tear gas. This is what tolerance looks like at UC Berkeley. Mike Wright of Berkeley College Republicans, the group that invited the Annapolis and Capitalists, said as the smoke bombs went off all around them. See, this is the left. They have complete... Well, this is American Sandinista communists, and they hate the Constitution. If they were for freedom of speech, they would let them speak. They use terrorism. This is terrorism, folks. And all these sons of bitches should be arrested. Every single one of them. The ones that set fires? Arson. 30 years, no parole, or, or however long the sentence is. University officials had earlier rejected requests to cancel Indianapolis's appearance in a letter to the campus community last week. Chancellor Nicholas Dirk said the U.S. Constitution prohibits UC Berkeley's public institution from banning expression based on its content and viewpoints even when those, when those viewpoints are hateful or discriminatory. You asshole. I cannot believe this asshole said that. Jerk! Protest. Rioters argue that what Yiannopoulos specializes in is hate speech and doesn't deserve to be protected. Berkeley College Republicans said all 600 tickets have been sold for Indianapolis's scheduled appearance in Pauley Ballroom in the Student Union building on Spruill Plaza. Indianapolis was expected to use the event to kick off a campaign against sanctuary campuses that vowed to protect undocumented students, I mean illegal aliens as President Trump cracks on um, illegal immigration. I think that'll do it for this one. This is not a protest. This is, these are communist rioters. They are the American Sandinista communists. Oh, they hate Indianapolis because he's both a homosexual and a conservative. That drives him up the wall and down the other side. All these so-called protesters should be arrested 
and any and all of them, their students should be expelled immediately. That's what should happen. They should be expelled immediately. Enough is enough. Police fired rubber pellets. What about rubber bullets? What about fire hoses? This is getting out of hand. This is big time terrorism. It is big time crime. And it needs to be dealt with as such. I don't care! I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.